But as the police were retreating, once they had uh, retrieved that particular individual, they were backing out slowly. There were jeers, there were cheers, there was delight that the protesters felt they had had another victory. And bear in mind, this has been about five days that this has been going on. Something's going on over here, and you can see a number of people running in to the airport. We're not quite sure what's happening at this point. But this is the kind of thing you don't want to happen, to have this kind of stampede of an awful lot of people. As we understand it, there were police outside. We did believe that some of those police vans had left. It's possible that this had The riot police has come. The riot police. The riot police. Okay, some of the protesters are now saying the riot police have arrived. We don't know that for sure, but certainly something has spooked these protesters. You can see that they are all trying to get back. Now, of course, this would be a great concern, because bear in mind, this is an international airport. There are passengers here waiting for their flights. Just downstairs in the arrivals department, which was a little less crazy and chaotic, there are children down there. So it would be... A surprise, to say the least, if the riot police were to come into the Hong Kong International Airport. But certainly from these images that you're seeing right now, these protesters are very concerned about something that they have seen. Now we do know, I can see at the moment there are ambulances outside. There have been ambulances outside the whole time. Yes, Kate. I'm sorry, I don't even know if you can hear me at this point, Paula, because it seems really chaotic where you are. It looks like... I mean, what, I, what I'm looking at is people are injured that are coming, that are being brought past you. Obviously, this is we don't know what's going on. And but where exactly are you in the airport? Can you give people a, a paint a picture for where you are, where these folks are kind of running from and to? Well, what we're seeing at the moment is a couple of people running in injured, as you say. I mean, this man has just had his eyes washed out by a colleague. Now, whether that is potentially pepper spray, we simply don't know. We weren't outside when this happened, but that would be in keeping with what you would expect a reaction from pepper spray to be. Now, we do know that once the police did retreat from the airport, there were a number of protesters that actually ran out after them. Whether or not this was an altercation after that effect, we simply don't know. But yeah, there were a lot of people coming in and they have very sore eyes. This does look as though it may have been pepper spray, although we can't confirm that at this point. But certainly something has happened outside to make these protesters run back in. I'm just trying to have a look and see if I can see any more police vans out there. There does appear to be police vans still outside the airport along with a fire truck and also some ambulances. Paulo, and where you are, I mean, is, and you can is, see the car where you and your crew well, are, is it secure, is it safe? Well, I mean, we're in a, an international airport, so you would imagine we would be safe. We're taking a look at these images of people coming in and, and they're telling everybody to move back. But once again, you have to bear in mind, there are passengers inside this airport that haven't managed to get on a plane, that have been waiting to get on the plane. And you can see the riot police outside the window right there. The, protect, the protesters were correcting that. The riot police are now running towards the entrance of Hong Kong International Airport. These are remarkable scenes. There are passengers in this airport. Yes, there are protesters, but there are people who are waiting to get on a flight. Now, if you see these green and blue lights, this is lasers that protesters are trying to use to put the police off. See, that may have worked at least for the time being. Protesters are trying to put some kind of blockade with the, across the entrance with the so that they cars. can't get in. You can see the trolleys being used there. Paula, help our exactly. viewers help our viewers understand. I mean, the, the riot police coming into the Hong Kong International Airport. This has not happened. This is a this was a major escalation if, if they come back in, correct? 
this is one of the world's busiest airports. This is a massive transport hub. This is not somewhere that you expect riot police to be coming into. And I've spoken to a number of protesters and they have said that they didn't believe this would happen. They have said that they thought that they had they were onto a good thing. They thought the fact that they were protesting in the airport meant that they were going to be safe from tear gas, from pepper spray, from the riot police. Now it's worth pointing out they didn't come far into the Hong Kong airport. Is that a show of force? Is that a sign that the riot police want to give to the protesters that they are there? It's just unclear at this point. So at this point, does it seem now that the riot police are blocking any of the protesters from leaving, almost barricade, almost blocking any protester from even leaving the airport? Is that what's happening? I don't believe they're blocking people from getting out of the airport. At this point, it appears as though the protesters are blocking them from getting into the airport. And something quite surreal, actually, I'm just looking down onto the ground floor, which is just looking over the banister here, and everything's completely calm. Everyone is wandering around, passengers are wandering around, looking at boards, so it's, it's, it's very localised to this particular area. This is the, uh, the arrivals hall, sorry, the departures hall. And this is the area where protesters have really been focusing on over the past few hours. And we are seeing a fair bit of activity outside. There appears to be more riot police now coming in to get into position. We simply don't know what they are going to be doing. I mean, and also, just As I for say, our viewers, just remind viewers, Paula, just for our viewers, children. remind them that there are passengers, as you mentioned, still in the airport. This has been an airport that's been largely almost paralyzed for two days as the protests have caused airlines to cancel flights. Um, but as you said, there are, pa there are passengers in the airport trying to get on their flights. Well, that's right. And it, they have been walking around, <coughs> excuse me, looking rather confused. Some of them bemused, some of them angry that they have, uh, in some cases, been not been able to, to leave the country for two days now. They have come both days. I've met people and, and they're still not able to get on a flight. But the fact is, passengers are still coming. They did hear from uh, the, the Hong Kong authorities saying that passengers should not come to the airport. But obviously some are not listening to that because last night, just after midnight, some flights did take off. So there is a hope by passengers here that, that they would be able to get on a flight. And up until just a couple of minutes ago, in fact, right now, you can still see people arriving at this airport down in the arrivals hall. It's a bit tricky to show, but down in the arrivals hall, people are still arriving. This is, as you can see, a normal functioning airport. And this, this is such an amazing juxtaposition of what is happening at this place, airport with people walking around with their luggage. And then uh, you can't see it, Paula, because you're in the middle of it. But we have another shot, it looks like, from basically behind the riot police looking into where you are. And you can see shields up, um, helmets on, clearly with pepper spray canisters in their hands. And it almost looked like, I don't know if it was an airport official kind of standing outside almost looking like trying to hold back the riot police. I mean, it's really an amazing split screen that we are looking at right now. What is happening where you are and the riot police on the outside and then passengers kind of milling about the airport in the level below you. It's truly remarkable. I have to say, Kate, this is one of the most surreal images I have seen. You look one way, you see the riot police, as you say, holding on to pepper spray. You look the other way down below, and there are families arriving in Hong Kong, coming home, coming for a holiday. It is simply surreal. This is, to all extents and purposes, down below, on the ground floor, a functioning airport. This is an arrivals hall, but up here, just one floor up in the departures hall, it is chaos. It is very chaotic. No one quite knows what's going to happen. They have seen the riot police and it has certainly spooked many people. But they don't know whether or not they're going to come into the airport. It is just a very 
unusual situation to say the least. This is an international airport. This is one of the busiest transit hubs in the world. And last year, in fact, Kate, this was the eighth busiest airport in the world. And to have riot police with pepper spray and whatever else they have just outside, with thousands of protesters inside, and just downstairs you have arrivals as normal, it's very unusual.